All right, hey guys, I want to talk to you about something that's not really spoke of much in my uh, instructors I see. And it has to do with the neck tilt. You know, we can move our neck, it's very mobile. It's the top of the spine. This is called the cervical spine, as you guys know. And how you position your head can have a direct effect on the movement of the body throughout the golf swing. Good, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Right there, keep ready to go. Come back, right there, right there. Got it. Alright. Now, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, straight up. Now, watch. I... Up the neck. Standard. Yep. Neck tilt, top of the spine, cervical spine, boom. Got it. That's Leave your head this way when you're hitting. Those are the alignments of Morad for sure. Golf machine, all these things have a have a deal. So how you position? We're gonna go jump over the Fosbury flop. We go like that. Cartwheels start here. They start there. You're all your spine's very mobile. I gotta hit one more because I'm having fun. Take it. See you on the other side. In the golf swing. So how you position your neck and head has a big effect throughout the chain of the spine or the movement of the body throughout the golf swing. Okay. What I mean by that, if I'm if I have my neck tilted this way, it's gonna be very hard for me to come from the inside because my body's bent, my neck's tilted, my spine's going up this way. But I'm trying to swing that way. It can't happen unless I do some magic thing from here or start to shift this way. And you'll see that a lot. You'll see the head changing quite a bit on the tour when the guys, uh, you know, coming into the ball and their their eyes are like this. And then all of a sudden you'll see them kind of tilt down. It's just the the spine going to work, the natural movement of the body. Now, you can circumvent things for like a draw style, um, pull draw or push draw. Well, how do you push a drop? Well, you got I've been at this since 1979 with Homer Kelly, you know, watching and instructing, right? How many guys have ever seen the shoulder plane go down? Take guess. All these years. On the back swing? Yeah. Like but not very many. Uh, lo less than five guys. I was one of them. So I don't know five guys that would do it. Keep that your shoulder went down a little bit like that. Keep the neck tilt to the right. And one more. Neck tilt to the right. Just pushing your right ear towards your right shoulder. Okay, good. Yeah, keep it right there, ready? Right keep your left shoulder up, up an inch on the back shoulder. Up, up, nice. Hey. Which is going to be something where if I set these balls here, I believe you can see it. I know it's a little windy. I don't have my cordless mic, but I think this will be beneficial for you guys. So I just wanted to make it while I was thinking about it. And it's like, if I tilt like water kind of trying to shake the water out of my ear, right? If I set up that way, like this, it's kind of neck tilt, right? You see me just like this, okay? So now my eyes are actually are slanted this way. My cervical spine is bent this way, and it's starting to curl in around the rest of my body. So if I can leave my head in that position when I come in, I am definitely gonna be coming from the inside, right? Maybe you're trying to hit some draws and you're having trouble doing that. Maybe you're coming over the top. So an anti-over-the-top hack would be when I have my neck tilt organized. And today, the sun is actually out. And I've got, I can see when my neck is tilted. And if I stay in this position with my neck, and I look up and I can see that ball started to the right of my start line, excuse me, target line, and bent backwards. So, um, a lot of times I'm all in depth. Too much like this, just too much directly straight, like the A-frame, just like this. But I will be trying to hit it to the right. And the only way I can do that really is to adjust at the bottom of my swing plane out this way. And then adjust the club face. And then I can do that. Right? The 
you have some choices. And one of the, we're talking about like how to shift the plane enough, how to change the club face within that shift to play some curves, especially the draw. So right there, you can see it's a shallow divot. I aim myself pretty much going out to that green post in front of me, but I aim about 20 degrees to the right, then I set the club face normal at the target, which is the green post, and then I swung without tilting my neck. And you can see it curving there. Do it again. 20, 20, zero. More curve again. So that's just straight. Now I'm going to aim straight to the green post. I'm going to tilt my neck, play the ball back slightly, leave my neck tilt for sure. pushes and draws back. So that push drew and the other one's a pull draw, right? So that's the variance between the two. Pull draw or push draw. Club head starting out to the right. Build in that neck tilt. So now it's like a cell phone over here. Got a cell phone on over here like this. I've tilted my neck like this. I leave it there and then as I wind up I still have it there all the way through. Neck tilt, leave it. Big curve. I don't know if you can see it through that camera. I think so, though. You can see my divot there. Just like this. Right, you might see my feet stair-stepped out a little bit. Right foot back. I've always been like that, like Hogan. But my knees are always square. But for me to have a divot angled out to the right of about 20 degrees like that, that's pretty big. And I couldn't do that if my head was just straight off like this, my hat perfectly straight with the brims like a, a quarter horse coming out of the gate with the blinders on, tilt those blinders this way, okay? I'm gonna retilt those blinders for you. That's a pretty good one, I just made that one up. Boom, got it? Now my neck, head's down, tilt it back this way. Yeah, I can go play golf doing that play some good golf doing that right there. So there was the push draw. Think about it though guys, if you're going to skip a rock, you're not going to skip it with neck tilt this way. You're just not going to do it. Are you kind of going to skip it this way? No, you're not going to do that. You're going to come in like this. You're going to come dripping water out of your ear, coming in like this, right? Like this. Sometimes I'll walk into golf balls. I'll show guys, especially my students, with driver. I'll have them go with the the uh, the guy I forget the Dr. Dre maybe I don't know he had the clock around his neck going the swagger like this get the arms hanging off to the side I've already got side bed I got the shaft already lined up with the left arm for you know the forward leaning shaft right I've already got neck tilt so I would come in towards my golf ball like this to show my students coming right on in I was thinking about the older player. Who was that guy that kind of kind of had that look? I think it was Ray Floyd. He used to kind of always had that side bend look. Do it one more time. So I'm leaning already down by. I think you guys can see me there. Leaning him in there like this. Right ear shaking water out. Coming in. Heads tilted back. Balls in position. Hey guys, it's Gormadator. I just want to let you know in the description box down below, you'll find a link that'll take you to paulgormagolf.com. Now, this site was for my students, but I want you guys to have it too, so you have a chance to practice hard uh, and do things the right way when you're at the driving range. A video container and their little miniature drills to keep you focused instead of just banging balls like these guys behind me. Also, faults and fixes. I put a container in there full of videos. You have trouble slicing that driver. Uh, teach you how to get out of that. Maybe the contacts not good with your irons and such. So hop in there in the description box down below. You'll find a link that'll take you to paulgormagolf.com. 